Well, now to a shopping center shooting arrest. Savannah police say they arrested Alfonso Irving after they say he shot and killed his 19 year old ex girlfriend. It was just before three o'clock yesterday. The 20, 22 year old Alfonso Irving burst into the business shooting and killing his ex girlfriend. Welcome to Backstreet Crime and News. Hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified of new videos. Savannah police tell us 19 year old Natalie Sampeo was transported to Memorial Health where she later died from her injuries. Just after the call went out, dozens of law enforcement officers swarmed the scene, which is just across the street from the Oglethorpe Mall. On December the 15th, 2022, 19 year old Natalie Sampeo went to work as she normally did. She never suspected this would be the day she would die. She went to work at the European Wax Center in Savannah, Georgia. Around 3 p.m., her ex-boyfriend, 22-year-old Alfonso Xavier Irving, allegedly entered her place of employment and started shooting at her. He then ran out of the store. The police were called to the scene and discovered Natalie with life-threatening injuries. She was transported to Memorial University Medical Center where she died as a result of her injuries. The police used flock and other technologies where they identified Afonso as a suspect. This technology allowed them to follow him by using camera to camera, catching license plates until he was located that very same day. Police say they were able to use Flock, a network of stationary cameras all across South Georgia, snapping pictures of license plates to eventually find and arrest Irving. He was booked into the Chatham County Jail on a murder charge. The European Wax Center closed temporarily to provide support for the employees affected by the tragedy. Our Andy Cole joins us now live from the Market Walk Shopping Center on Mall Boulevard. And Andy, the Wax Center where that shooting took place remains closed today. Yeah, that's right, Shannon. The lights behind me at that European Wax Center remain closed or remain dark right now. Natalie was a daughter, sister, granddaughter, aunt, cousin, niece, and a friend. She had a beautiful soul full of life and positivity, and she was taken too soon. Natalie was actually living out of state. Her body was returned to Passaic, New Jersey, for her funeral services. Young black men must stop taking the lives of young black women. This outcome is so similar to those of domestic abuse. When a woman leaves a man in domestic situations, that is when it is most dangerous. She did not want to be with him anymore. It led to her death. Somewhere is the mentality that if you're not with me, you must die. This has to stop. We may have to train young black women to look for signs of domestic abuse. One sign to look for is easily angered, blaming behavior. Don't be a man's everything. It's like these men cannot live without the woman who does not want to be with them anymore. Well, the investigation is ongoing. Anyone with information on this incident should contact the Violent Crimes tip line or Crime Stoppers. My sincere condolences goes out to Natalie's friends, family, and loved ones. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for supporting the Backstreet Crime and News channel by watching these videos. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave us a comment below, share this video with your friends, and please subscribe to this channel.